Hey, this is Nick with another Builder Trend tutorial, and today I'm going to show you my exact process for estimating and importing estimates into Builder Trends. So this is very much a Builder Trend video. I'm going to show you how I use and work with the estimates within this amazing system. So let's get into exactly what I mean by estimates and how we work a little bit outside of Builder Trend, a little bit inside of Builder Trend as well. So here's how I estimate projects. Now, our estimates go through a few different stages as we work through a free preliminary estimate all the way through pre-construction. So during the pre-construction process, I am very much taking an estimate that I've already presented to the customer really detailed and I'm tweaking it, I'm editing it, I'm bringing in bids and I'm bringing in information as I learn. And so during this pre-construction process, I use Google Sheets, I use a template that I've created because it really gives me some awesome flexibility. I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. I'm going to toggle, I'm going to slice and dice that estimate as I work with designers, as I get subcontractor bids, as the customer asks me, what if we do this? What if we do that? Option A, option B, and we can add it, we can subtract it, we can do it really easily. Now, Builder Trend Estimates is really, really good. I've just found that I need a little bit more flexibility. I'm really detail-oriented as well. I like to be able to kind of move things and shift things around and present it in a certain way to my customers. So they're really, really awesome, but I don't use Builder Trend uh, Estimates until I get to a build contract. Once we have that build contract, we import into Builder Trend and we manage within Builder Trend from here on out. We no longer need to slice and dice the data. We have everything we need in the system. From this point forward, we no longer use the spreadsheets, all right? It's an amazing place to be for selections, for change orders, for bids, everything, no longer needing the spreadsheet. So with that, let me show you my system and how this actually works in practice. So what I have here is I've got a, a job 49 Clifford that I'm going to use to demonstrate this, okay? And over on the right, I've got Builder Trend. On the left, I've got my Google Sheet template. Now, the first thing I'll say that um, when we are about to import into Builder Trend, we want to make sure that we've zeroed out all of our selections. We don't want this estimate to have anything in it, really. So even if we're doing some work on pre-construction on selections, we have some things in here that we might select. I don't want to indicate them as selected and done, but move them all to pending. We want this to be zero. Same thing goes with our change orders and our bids. I want this completely zero until we lock the estimate. All right, so that's first. Let me go back over to my Google Sheet. So this is the template that I use, okay? And again, Builder Trends Estimate is really, really good. But what I do is I use a bottom-up approach. I have a really detailed spreadsheet that I've created over time, and I'm able to bring in past data. I'm able to bring in different resources, different markups, and I can toggle it, which is really, really useful. So I've got my accounting codes, my description. I build up my scope. I build up the cost and then the profit and then the price and I've got everything built in really nicely and the best part is when we're doing this in pre-construction working with the customer the designer the architect value engineering we can toggle all this so notice in the worksheet I've got scope and I've got option so I can play around and say like hey our initial scope of work it was um, it was revised one and you know it was 396,000 and by the way within that I've had different options or different projects and we can say do we want option one or project one two or three in or out we can play with that and do value engineering. I could also mess with my markup a little bit more specifically. I can see my labor coming in. I can do some sanity checking against past projects. That's why I like to use it, okay? And eventually, as we're about to do, we get it into Builder Trend. So what I'm going to do here is we got our scope revised 2.0. So what we've done is we've gotten through pre-construction. We're all done with pre-construction. We've arrived at a final price of 215000 That doesn't mean that's going to be the final, especially if we're doing open book. Right, this is our final for our build contract. Now we bring it into Builder Trend to manage the actuals, manage what we spend against the budget, manage selections, manage uh, in addition change orders and all of that. All right, so there's my scope, there's my budget, and if I look at my worksheet, I get to that by just filtering down on revise 2.0. I don't need to do anything else with the, the option. So there's what I'm going to bring into BT or Builder Trend. All right, so let's prepare to do that. I've got Builder Trend here. I've zeroed out all my selections. My total price and cost are zero. Okay, so we're looking good right there. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, is prepare for an import. And the first thing that I recommend you do is you go to external import, go to Excel, and they've got this Excel template here, which is really, really useful. I've got it over here. This is a cool template that shows me here are the fields that they're looking, looking for. All right, really, really useful. All right, so that's what I want to be able to map to. So going over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new tab. I like to work in Google Sheets, so I'm just going to do that here. I'm going to create this new sheet and call this import. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over my worksheet here. I'm going to grab the heading. I'm going to grab all columns and in rows. I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to go over to import. And I'm just going to do edit, paste special, values only to start. And then I'm going to do edit, paste special, format only. 
And so doing values only takes away all the calculations, just gives me quantity, units, unit cost. And that's really important because Builder Trend is going to try to do its own math. They kind of don't care about you know me multiplying quantity times you know unit cost here. They're going to do its own math. Same thing with profit. So we want just values in there. And then we want to think about mapping our fields over. Okay, so I'm just going to open all these up. Okay, so I've got accounting code. I'm just going to change the name to be cost code. Then I'm going to bring in title as well. So I'm going to do cost code, title. I don't really have anything for description, but I'm going to use uh, my resource because they don't have they don't give me a resource column. So I'm going to pull my resource over. I'm going to use that. I'm going to change the name of that to be descriptions. That, that way I get the information in there. Description. Okay, and then beyond that, it is quantity, unit, unit cost, cost type. So let's bring all that in. Quantity, unit, unit cost. I'm just kind of bringing these over to organize them that I've got on cost type. I'm going to bring over as well. Let's see what else. Group, I'm not going to really use. I don't use that yet. You could potentially do that. Uh, I'm not going to. Markup percentage, internal notes. I'm going to use markup percentage for, for sure. So that's my percentage right here, this profit. I'm going to bring that over. And that's really all I need. I don't need anything else. Again, Builder Trend is going to be doing the calculation for me. So I'm just going to get rid of all the rest of these columns just so don't confuse anything. Now, one thing we got to keep in mind this profit, let's call this markup percentage. You have to make sure you're doing percentage or absolute value. Whatever you actually use, make sure you have it in there. Whoops. Uh, that way, uh, Builder Trend's got it. Uh, accounted for. So if you didn't put in, if you just put in markup, it would do $35 instead of 35%. The other thing is we need to make this into a whole number. So right now I have it as a percentage, so it's 0.35. I need to multiply it by 100 because that's how Builder Trend reads this. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by 100 and then I'm going to make this just a number without decimals. Markup percentage, and now that I have that, I'm going to copy and paste values only just again, so I don't have any calculations. I don't wanna mess with any calculations being in here. And I'm good to go, I think I got everything in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import this into BT. Now, one thing that I'm gonna do uh, kind of on purpose is we'll want to have spent some time making sure that our cost codes are equal to what's in Builder Trend, right? We Again, we have a video on how to do that, okay? Um, I've already established that. So the cost codes that I've got in my estimate template, I've got a mirroring cost code over in Builder Trend as well. I'm going to mess one of these up on purpose just to show you how it does a really good job of mapping. So I have rough plumbing subcontract. I'm gonna put in subcontractor in there just to demonstrate how BT kind of finds that mismatch for you so we don't have anything messing up. The other thing it's gonna probably do is cost type. I've got materials here, uh, plural. I believe they have it singular. I'm gonna show you how that works. So I've got this ready to go. I'm just going to download this as a CSV file. So that's up there. Great. Once I do, I can bring it over here. Okay, so now we're going to spend some time and I think they've done a great job of helping you map this. I'm going to add to the estimate as opposed to replacing. Okay, and first thing we have to do is map columns. So where I've indicated cost code, it's guessing that I want to map it to the same cost code column in BT. That's correct. So cost code, title, description, they look good. We can of course change that, but it's taking a really good guess. Quantity, it's not finding. I use QTY. And they've got it spelled out, so I just need to go in here and indicate quantity. Nice. Units, maps to unit. Unit cost looks like that's perfect. Cost type looks like it's good as well. And here's where we need to make sure we're using profit markup percentage as opposed to markup. If I used markup here, it would do $35 instead of 35%. I want it to be percent. So that looks good. Next, we're going to do some lookups. And this is where... Uh, Builder Trend is looking at their cost codes compared to the ones I'm importing. It's finding any errors and it found an error. That exact rough plumbing subcontractor, it found it to be an error, but it's guessing correctly that we wanted to use cost code 3630. So it did a good job of guessing and it's just alerting me to make sure that I'm identifying, making sure that the match is there. It looks good. Everything else looks good as well. Now I can click next. The next thing it'll do is looking at cost type. I've got the word materials plural. It wants it to be material. Great. Now, best practice, what I should do is update my template to be material, right? That's clear, but at least it's it's making it so I don't have to like go back and re-import. All right, so we should be good. It gives us a little bit of a, um, a preview of what's about to happen. Let's click next. Let's see this thing get it loaded into BT. All right, so that happens there and the import is complete. Let me check the math here. 215, uh, let's see, 215. 160 and I got 215 165 but that's because yeah I think we're good here 
perfect. Look at that, 215, 167. I just do some rounding over here, so that looks awesome. There's my cost, there's my profit, and my estimate is, is perfect. It's in there, it's great, right? Now, if we want to add allowances, we don't do that on an import, okay? We add allowances, currently I do it manually, um, or you can make catalogs for it, but if we add allowances, I would prefer to do that separately. Okay, so you have, you go into your selection, you add those separate, okay? Now, um, that is really it. Now, from here, I wanna lock that estimate. This specific project doesn't have any allowances because we're using uh, a designer, and designer's picking out most of the stuff. So I'm going to lock that estimate, okay, and lock that worksheet. Now, QuickBooks, or I'm sorry, Builder Trend now has the authority to track revised price. So if I go to my job costing budget, what we'll see now is my estimate, my original estimate, and we can start tracking the revised cost, okay? Right now, nothing's changed, but as I start to make adjustments, as you've seen in my job costing videos, that will get updated, okay? So right now, that's there. Now, the other thing I have to do is I have to update my um, contract price. So even though this is going to be a uh, open book, I still want that total 215 165 to show up there so that I can track against the original. And actually, I'll just put it in exactly which is 215, 160, 70. Okay, we'll save and close that. All right, so that's how we do it. That's how we import. This is how I kind of get the best of both worlds. Now I have this estimate here. It matches what I did in Excel perfectly. I no longer use the Google Sheet. I'm in BT from here on out. I'm gonna build this project. I'm gonna track everything right here. I'm gonna use selections. I'm gonna use change orders. I'm gonna use bids. I'm gonna use the job costing budget to ensure that I have a, a solid accounting of everything. All right, so that's how we do it. Um, thank you for taking uh, the time to, to check this out. Let me know what questions you have. I wanna know about your process too. What are you using and what uh, potential gaps do you have in your system? And I could potentially film a follow-up on that as well. Check out all the free resources we have available. We have links in the description and let me know what else you wanna learn about this amazing software that is Builder Trend. I'll see you on the next video.